A red rattler Thanks. arrived into Campbelltown Railway Station on Friday to celebrate the 50th anniversary of both our first electric train line and the proclamation of Campbelltown as a city. District's history as Transport Minister Milton Morris unveils a plaque to celebrate the occasion. It's a time for congratulations and a time to look round the new city. This is a symbolic occasion that represents our city's proud history. We have many more exciting years in front of us as well. In a couple of years time, we're gonna be celebrating 200 years of Campbelltown. Again, our community will be back out celebrating everything that's wonderful about our great city and amazing region. Yes, Australia Valley wore this uh, outfit twice. Once when I got elected and now uh, 18 months later, it felt different but it was also good because I know the significance and that the people loved uh, me dressing up in the period costume and as I saw with the video I'm wearing the exact same outfit as the mayor of the day uh, so a very important occasion so of course I had to duly respect wearing uh, the robes or the gowns. Well we've just been watching the video of 1968 and I believe you were at the front there sitting with Greg. What do you remember from that day? Any well, it was a very exciting day. Uh, hordes of, well, not hordes, but lots and lots of people. I believe it was a nice, warm, yes, it warm was a very day. Nice day. Yeah, like yeah. today, which is yeah. good. Yes, yeah, which is right. good. Yeah. The band was here for the original event. We saw them on the film marching down the road, and a couple of those members were actually here present with us today. That played in the band in that on that occasion and um, so we were felt very privileged to be able to participate 50 years later with the Campbelltown Camden District Band. Um, it was pretty incredible. Yeah. It was uh, like taking taking ourselves back into the past and um, I was happy to bring my grandparents to this occasion and my grandma actually grew up in Campbelltown so it was great to see her and she was so happy to see the train again. So I remember back in the early 80s, uh, as a young kid, jumping on the train from Punchbowl, going up to Lakemba to go to school and back. And uh, back then it was a bit more uh, relaxed on the rules. And obviously, uh, you know, you used to be able to get to hang out the side of the train and uh, all them beautiful things that went along with the trains back in the old days. I used to always catch up to Liverpool and Parramatta. Uh, Campbelltown for a short time didn't have a cinema until Ron Moore and his family got to Merrick Street going again. So, uh, my friend Ashley and I go to Parramatta as 12 year olds with free range parents uh, to watch Lethal Weapon, an uh, M rated movie, probably MA these days, uh, and just had an awesome time. But I remember my time, and you know, I thought I was so big and strong having the door open whilst the train was moving, so yeah, wouldn't do that these days or die if my children would do it. It wasn't air conditioned. Yeah. <laughs> it was really <laughs> hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it was like, the seats like weren't as, because on the trains today you can like move the seats back and forth and theirs was like just this, like in the same spot. Yeah, yeah. and the windows were different as well. 